In iOS 11, there is a new control center that is customizable. Here is how to use it. So first off, to access the control center, it is the same as in previous iOS versions. You just swipe up from the bottom. Now though, instead of three panes full of settings, you have individual panels for each corresponding setting. At the top, you have the main settings for options like connectivity and audio playback, but at the bottom, you have more specific options for different features and settings. Also, if you 3D touch or long hold on a panel, it will open up to show even more options. Now, if you go into settings, then control center, you have the option to disable access within apps. So if you're using an app and you swipe up from the bottom, the control center will not activate. Below that setting, you have the option to customize what controls you need. There are options for HomeKit, Flashlight, Apple TV, a screen recording option, and many more. And you can arrange in which order they appear, or take it away altogether if you don't feel you'll use it. Now, this customization doesn't affect the main controls like connectivity and music, those are there permanently, but for more specific options, in iOS 11 you have much more control over them. On the iPad, the control center works in exactly the same way, but the interface is a bit different. When you swipe up, instead of just seeing the control center, you will see the new dock, the new app switcher, and the control center on the right. The functionality is the same as on the iPhone, but it's grouped with these other features. But that is the new control center in iOS 11. For more how-tos on this new software release, be sure to visit MacRumors.com.